Saltivian is Peter de Toya with your story behind the Sia Gaborza. We love Sia Gaborza. We know you love Sia Gaborza as well. And the big headline on this story is Tefu, USA, is that a smart move? We know, and we can categorically state, that they were talking to Sundowns, and obviously may, they may have felt at that time that they could make that Sundowns deal work. It hasn't really happened. There were certain guarantees we said in Sakhal Duma this week that Tefu wanted from Sundowns. Um, and you can read them in the paper and those obviously couldn't be agreed upon. The player is now in the USA training with New York City, uh, which is owned by or partly owned by Manchester City. Now the big question, is this a smart move for Tefu? And let's look at the facts. One, we can tell you that Kaiser Chiefs probably pay more money than New York City, believe it or not, even taking the Rand dollar exchange rate. Um, um, in America, teams have a thing called salary caps and unless you're one of the big time players like the Beckhams, the head of the Thierry Henrys, you're not in the that high bracket and generally speaking the average salary in, in, um, in the USA is lower than uh, a Chiefs Pirates or Sundowns player would earn. So from a money point of view it doesn't seem to be a smart move but where it could be a smart move is Tefu is a bright young man, he's got a degree and he wants to continue his studies and obviously continuing his studies in New York opens uh, or in the USA opens up a lot of other horizons for him and being in America also opens up uh, another worldly experience. So from that point of view if it's studying and going further that may be the right thing for Tefu because after all he's at the end of his career. He needs to look at his future and from a, a business point of view and a studying point of view that may be a very smart move for Tefu. Watch the space.